Hello, welcome to day 210-210. This is the seventh and last day of the 30th week. Isn't it wonderful that God has led us through this time and um, we just give thanks to God. And I let me let me just ask you. I want you to I want you to partner with us in this. Spread this word. Let others receive it. Let others get it. God is doing something new in our season. God is helping us to come into this understanding to understand the Bible from a time seasons perspective and to understand seasons from the Bible. This is what God is doing and. Um, to a large extent, I know that you know that this is new. So help us spread this word. Let others get to, you know, receive this, especially if it's a blessing to you. You know, let others get to know it so that they too can share in the blessing. And if you have not subscribed, I'd like to ask you to subscribe and then press to hit the notification button so that whenever a new content comes on this channel, I mean, you will be notified. You, you, you get to know that something is here. So we want to thank all of you who are subscribers and those of you who are liking and, um, you know, encouraging the work and sharing it. God bless you real, real good. So today, this is the last day of the 30th week. This should be a day of testimony to you. I mean, that's what it ought to be. That's this day you ought to be saying, ah, I prayed, I looked to God and God answered me. I pray that that is your experience. Let me just read Psalm 30 to you. That's what I expect. That's my prayer and heart desire for you today. That this, as, as we end the 30th week, you will end it with testimonies. You will end it with testimonies. You will enter into the 31st week and you are still giving testimonies of what God did in the 30th. Say, David, I mean, the psalmist said in Psalm 30, he said, I will extol you, O Lord, for you have lifted me up and have not let my foes rejoice over me. Let that be your testimony today. Oh Lord, my God, I cried out to you and you healed me. You healed me. You will not carry disease beyond this day. In the mighty name of Jesus, you healed me. He said, oh Lord, you brought my soul up from the grave. You have kept me alive that I should not go down to the pit. Sing praises to the Lord, you saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment, his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Now, in my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved, Lord. By your favor, you have made my mountain strong. You have hid your, you hid your face, and I was troubled. I cried out to you, O Lord. And to the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Where the dust praise you, will it declare your truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy on me. Lord, be my helper. You have turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. I pray that as this week is ending, the Lord will clothe you with gladness. Every garment of you know, sorrow, every garment of pain and trouble will get off you. You'll be clothed with, with gladness. That's your testimony that, Lord, you have lifted me up. Lord, you healed me. Lord, Because the seventh season is a season of results. You know that when Israel marched around Jericho, they didn't have any testimony until the seventh day. And not just the seventh day, until they marched around the seventh time. It was on the seventh day that their testimony comes. So that's why I'm expecting that you will have a testimony today in the mighty name of Jesus. Because this is a day of results. All the marching around. You know, day one, day two, nothing happened. You know, as they came out on day three, they still went back. There was no change. Day four, they marched around. Everybody went home. Nothing happened. Day five, day six, they still went home. Even when they came out on day seven, you know, we're marching around. Nothing happened. Fifth time around, nothing happened. But by the seventh time, 
the result came. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the efforts of the weak, will, you will see the result today. In the mighty name of Jesus, the healing you have expected, that it will begin to manifest today. In the mighty name of Jesus, the joy, the gladness, the good news you've been expecting, let it begin to show up from this day. In the mighty name of Jesus, this is a season of results. So Jesus will go into the tabernacle and just, why will he not go on the other days? Why will he have to go on the seventh day? Because it's a season of intervention, it's a season of results. And as he entered the synagogue, he will come up, people will have testimonies. Elisha told uh, the Syrian general, Naaman, to, you know, dip his, in Jordan seven times. The man did. There was no testimony after going the first time. No testimony after going the second time, the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time, the sixth time. There was no testimony. But as soon as he completed the seventh time, he came up clean. The leprosy disappeared. I don't know what your experience has been these six days of the 30th week. I don't know what it has been, but I stand with you and I agree with you. The Father, in the name of Jesus, as we come into this day, let the results come. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the results of obedience, the results of walking in faith, the results of taking our steps of faith and, faith and obedience, the results of obeying your word, let it come this day. In the mighty name of Jesus, the result of sacrifices, the results of labors of love, let this be a day of results and a day of testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That's the will of God. This is a day of results. Believe it. It's, we have patterns in the word of God. And so pray that that is your experience today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is what we look out for. So, and we know why do we look out for results? Because on the, uh, on the seventh day of creation in Genesis chapter 2, the first three verses, God told us that God ended his work. At the end of every session, you know, academic session or every academic semester or, or term or whatever session, you know, people have results. You take exams and then you see the results. At the end, you see results. At the end, you see results. So now that you have persevered to this seventh day, you're seeing results in the name of Jesus Christ. That the kind of testimony that Jacob had in, in, in Genesis 30 will become your experience. That this is a day of recovery. A day of recovery in, in, in 1 Samuel chapter, chapter 30. The Amalekites raided David's camp as Ziglag and took away family members, took away possessions. But that, it, that, that, that chapter did not end with tears. It didn't end with tears. You know, Psalm said, weeping may endure for a night, but joy will come in the morning. I'm praying and I'm standing with you that this week will not end with tears. It will not end with tears. That weeping will turn to joy in the name of Jesus Christ. That's the will of God. That this week will end with a testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. If it began with losses, let the week and with recoveries in the name of Jesus Christ. That's what happened. So David, you know, heard the Lord say, pursue, you will overtake and you will recover all. And that, that chapter ended with celebration that David and his men recovered everything that they have lost. I pray that that is how it will be for you, that you will not, you know, tears and crying and weeping will not be how this week ends for you. The week will end with testimonies, with, with joy, with singing praises to God, and with, you know, with gladness, gladness, that you will say, I cry to God, and God help me, God answer me. Amen. That is it. So that's what God wants to do for us today. And I'm, we're just going to close and look at um, the, the, we're going to look at the seventh prophetic division of the book of Amos to see what the Lord would have us to, to, to go with. We're going to look at Amos and chapter nine. Amos chapter nine. Amos chapter nine. And let's see what the Lord has for us there. <clears throat> And you know, when we talk about results, you know, the results you get is 
a matter of what you did. The results don't just come. You know, it's what is is what goes in that comes out. What you put in, that's what you imputed is what the output you see. It's what you perform, how your performance is, that's what you see. So let's see how what Amos said. In chapter 9, I saw the Lord standing by the altar, and he said, Strike the doppels that the thresholds may shake, and break them on the heads of them all. I will slay the last of them with the sword. He who flees from them shall not get away, and he who escapes from them shall not be delivered. This is the kind of result you don't want to have in a seventh season. He said, though they dig into hell, from there my hand shall take them. Though they climb up to heaven, from there I will bring them down. And though they hide themselves on the top of Carmel, from there I will search and take them. Though they hide from the sight of the bottom of the sea, from there I will command the serpent and he shall bite them. <laughs> oh Lord. Though they go into captivity before their enemies, from there I will command the sword, and he shall slay them. I will set my eyes on them for harm and not for good. Now, we're talking about the seventh season as a season of results, and that's the pattern you see in God's word. That's the pattern you see in God's word. In Exodus chapter 7, now in Genesis chapter 7, that's where the flood happened. That was result. The result of rebellion, the result of disobedience, the result of neglecting and disregarding God's word. I pray that that's not what comes your way this week. But, you know, God is speaking to the rebellious. He said, I'm coming to strike the doorpost and there's going to be a shaking. So to the rebellious, to the rebellious, the seventh season ends with judgment with disaster with disaster that's why when you read the bible many seven chapters don't have you know a lot of good stories i've shown you genesis chapter 7 that's where the flood destroyed humanity that's result the result of rebellion in exodus chapter 7 that's where nile river nile was turned into blood because of the stubbornness of pharaoh So when people will not obey God, they end up with this. That's why 2 Chronicles chapter 7 says, verse 14 says, If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and, you know, turn from their wicked ways. He said, I, the Lord, will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. But chapter, verse 13 began, he said, if I, if I shut the heavens, if I shut up the heavens that there is no rain, So, when people do not follow God, the seventh does not have any good news. So, when you read the seventh book of the Bible, you see that instead of the people enjoying rest, their enemies were attacking them from all angles. If it is not Midianites, it will be Ammonites, it will be Moabites, it will be different enemies just attacking them from all over the place. Or Philistines, they will just be coming. Why? Because the people were living in rebellion. The seventh season is a season of results in the sixth book of the bible they just settled in the settled in the promised land the seventh book of the bible their enemies began to attack them because of rebellion but if the people walk with god the seventh season becomes a season of salvation a season of vindication a season of help a season of divine intervention that's what it becomes. And I pray that that's what you get. Hallelujah. Can't you see that? Joshua chapter 7. Joshua chapter 7. Why is it in that chapter that Achan will be stoned to death? Because the seventh is about results. That's where we check. Okay, let's see the results. Let's see what happened. <laughs> that's, the, that's when you open the scoreboard or score sheets and say, let's see what happened. So I pray today in the name of Jesus 
that your score sheet will show favor, will show blessing, will show vindication, will show help. That that's what God will be, you know, will be for you. That in Luke chapter 7, a man was going to be buried, the only child of a, a widow. But Jesus stopped the bear, stopped the casket, stopped those who are going to bury the son and said, Madam, do not weep. And he raised the child. Life began afresh. Death was already happening. Or death had already happened. So I pray that this seventh day of the week, that it will be a week of results. In 1 Samuel chapter 7, the Philistines came like a storm against Israel. Samuel lifted up a sacrifice and thunder came against the Philistines and drove them away. The Bible said that they never came to Israel in the days of Samuel. When Samuel's well, Samuel was active in ministry. The, the Philistines dared not come. And Samuel anointed Saul, anointed David to deal with the Philistines. I pray that this is a day of results for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the results come. Let the results come. The result comes in the seventh time. Elijah sent his servant to go and check to see if the cloud had come. He went out the first time, he didn't see anything. He went out the second time, he didn't see anything. Went out the third time, went out the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, but at the seventh time, he said, I see something like the hand of a man. Lord, we pray, let the result begin to come this day. In the mighty name of Jesus, for those who have waited, for those who have labored, for those who have cried to you, this seventh day, let the result begin to show in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Amen. I bless you in the name of the Lord. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Thank you for, for continuing to uh, come to this channel to hear God's word. I pray that the good that God has for this day and this week, you will not miss it. And as God has led us to the end of the 30th week, that is also how we will see the end of the 31st week. And um, don't miss the video on the 31st week. It's, I mean, God has something, something wonderful. I'm, I, I'm expecting something great to happen in your life this 31st week in the mighty name of Jesus.